Morning guys, Paul here. I'm just out on the Maribyrnong this morning having a bit of a play with my new Lowrance Hook 2 sounder. There's some nice fish coming through there. I'm out in one and a half meters of water. There's some structure just behind me. I've missed a couple of hits. I haven't been able to stay connected. I did catch a decent fish off the bridge behind me. Casting a bit further back. That's it. That's on the money. There's a roll coming, so I'll try and get out of the way of him. Had a couple of boils on surface, but it's been pretty tough, so I'm going to keep working my way up river, alternating between really shallow edges, rocky edges, and I'm going to try and fish that next drop off in one and a half, um, where I'm seeing those fish in the sounder. So, hope you enjoyed the footage. Hopefully, it's a good day, and we'll catch you later. Cheers. here guys I've just been casting away quietly it's been a bit slow but just got a good tap on the little two inch seaman and here he comes <coughs> good brim there he is alright right. there's that grub nailed it Just taking a couple of photos. There's that little grub. That's out. There's our brim. Good fish, good fight too. There he goes. Right, I can see a swirl right up in the shallows. Let's see if that was a fish. That wants to eat. <coughs> second or third cast. I don't think he's just big. Yeah, no. But still ate it. What a guy. Popping that up, up the rise. Oh, I didn't get a good hook set, hook set in him, whatever this is. Ah, dang! Pulled the hooks.
not sure what that was now. <sighs> Bugger. Mine's not scuffed. Oh, dang, that was just at the bottom of the that drop off that we're just coming up up into. Oh, man, I haven't had a lot of luck on fish like that. But as I said, I didn't get a good hook set in him. I didn't get a hook set in him at all. I really just lifted up to twitch and he was on and he took off. So I never got an opportunity to sort of set the hooks when I felt the bite because the bite just wasn't there. Feels like a good fish. Uh, it's not huge. I'll just pull this guy in. Right. On that grub again. Same size again. my PB. <laughs> he ate it. He ate it too. That is incredible. <laughs> that was... All right, we're back. Things are just going a little bit quiet. Ah, yep. Yep, there we go. We're back on. It's a small fish. Just grabbed it off the bottom. Inhale that little grub. Paddle? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, they're great, great watercraft. Oh, that's it. That's on the money. If there's not one there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Got him. be a few down there.
Yep, again. Next cast, about the same size. Touch bigger. Where are these bigger brim? Are they all just sitting deep? I think they're all sitting deep while the tide's low. Yep, <laughs> that's three from three. <laughs> that's slightly better. Slightly. Geez, they're all just sucking them in. We've got all those fish sitting off the edge in one and a half directly under us at the moment. I just can't get them to eat. I've thrown, thrown everything at them. All right, just fishing some, some over, overhanging tree. Ah, yep, yep. There we go. <laughs> Little cheeky cast under there, and nice brim. Whacked it. Right, he's not huge, but it's better than some of the others that we've been getting. Good current under there. Bit of shade. It's the perfect spot for him to sit. As you can see this fish sitting just out from this pontoon there. They're not right on it. It's a good number of fish. But for whatever reason they're just not not directly under it, not keen to eat the scrub. Oh, there's fish on this side of the pontoon though. Got him, the little cast back, a little flick back cast. Oh, there we go. Probably one of the better fish for the day. He's turning the yak around. <laughs> All right, nice. Come on, come here, mate. Oh, don't get back under there. Oh, let me get my net. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, happy with that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, cheeky little backhand cast right up against that edge. I saw the heads facing the current. So that grub sunk down and he sucked it in. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I'll just park the yak there for a moment. It's a good fish. On the little two inch grub. All right. oh. I'll let this guy go. Oh, thanks for the shower. Right on the bottom, see those fish going? At least we set the hooks into this one. That's an awesome example of seeing those fish. I'll let that sink right down. Instead of fishing this grub up high in the water column, I saw all those fish. Ice cream. Swing him in. Probably should have netted him, but anyway. There we go. Pinned in the top of the mouth. Just how we like it. Alright, we'll put him back in. No, 
that was a great example of I was fishing in this pontoon you know I imagined that the fish would be sitting up high had a look over at the the new Lorance hook too saw that the fish was sitting right on the bottom in 1.4 1.5 opened my bail arm really slowed down let that grub get to the bottom and then I was slowly just hopping it on the bottom and he just sucked it up off the bottom so perfect all right give these washboards another go had a couple of throws at them this morning for one hit but didn't hook up got him that time oh, that's a good good head shake trying to turn him get him away from the washboard Just lucky, but paid off. Nailed that grub. Whew. All right, back again. I didn't retie. I just picked up the other rod with the monster Miki on it, just due to time and the fact that I think I might be able to get a fish on this monster. I'm pretty comfortable with just throwing that for the rest of the morning, uh, for the rest of the afternoon. I've only got about half an hour before I get off the water. So I'm pretty comfortable just throwing this around. and got another one off the same washboard. Really suck that in. This is the motor oil coloured monster. You can see there's a couple of fish down there under those washboards still, even after the two that we just caught. All right guys, all done here on the Nong today. Started off really slow. I threw bents a lot this morning and you know what? I had a lot of really nice fish come up, swirl at it, really crash that bent, but I just couldn't get one to find the hooks. From there, worked my way over to some bridges, threw a cranker crab and got a fish early. And then from there, started working my way slowly up the system, saw fish on pontoons, but on pontoons rather, but really struggled to get them. Started out with a two and a half inch Z-Man, the Monster Miki, which is my absolute favorite. Had a couple of half-hearted hits. But it wasn't until I made my way further up and switched downsize to a 2 inch Z-Man in motor oil is where I really started to get fish consistently. And it went from a slow day to landing 30 fish for the morning. And I could have caught more if I really stayed on that same pattern, but I started to chop and change with a few different things. It was also my first time out with the new Lorance Hook 2 sounder. It was an absolute breeze to set up didn't have to touch a thing for the entire day it was absolutely fantastic so check them out hope you guys enjoyed the footage and i'll catch you next time cheers